Okay, Landon, we are back at it again. Um, interesting things going on in the world of atmospheric science today because there is an event that is coming up. Guam gets really excited about these kind of things because typically we are able to avail of this. This maybe not, right? Is, is, it, is yeah. it for certain that we won't see it? That is for certain that we on Guam here in the Western North Pacific, we will not see this total solar eclipse that is all the buzz right now in global communications, uh, the news media in the States. This is what everybody's talking about. It was going to be a total solar eclipse across the heartland of the United States on April 8th. And that's why Bonnie Tyler's song, Total Eclipse of the Heart, is now trending on Spotify once again. Yeah, so bring it on, even the old classics. <laughs> yeah, okay, so is this the, the kind of eclipse that, you know, even if we were able to see it, this is the kind that, okay, you've got to get like those special glasses or look through a box or look through a, yeah. a paper plate because it can really hurt your eyes. Yeah, that's correct. Any kind of uh, eclipse with the sun, you do need to have those precautions, whether it's solar glasses or cutting the hole into the box and projecting it onto another platform. So you have to take those precautions, but they do say that when it's maximum eclipse or the total eclipse, that it is safe for that very brief moment. But better safe than sorry, keep the glasses on if you're going to be trying to witness this in person across the United States. Okay, well, Mother Nature not on our side literally this time, but even though we won't be able to avail of the fun, will we see any, do we get any fringe benefits, any remnants? Like, will we have like some crazy thing with the moon or? Yeah, sometimes we see the partial phase and the partial phase, you see that going all the way up to Hawaii and across the Samoas, but just not far enough to our area. And so we're gonna be outside of that, the realm of the partial eclipse. You'll see it'd be nighttime at the time that the eclipse is starting going to go right over uh, the Mississippi River area of the United States and then right up into New England. So the key areas for totality is going to be a very narrow swath. That includes Dallas, uh, Dallas, Texas, all the way up to Niagara Falls, New York. But that swath is about 90 to 100 miles wide. But a lot of folks from along the length of that path will see it, including all of the United States and most of Canada and Greenland with the partial phase of the solar eclipse. Once again, you know, like it pays to live in the mainland, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes it does. Uh, well, you know, we are where America's day begins. Unfortunately, we are not where America's eclipse is going to be seen. Um, but yeah. do you have any idea of when the next time we might be able to see one of these? Well, we Can usually see these uh, about every year and a half or so. And so timeanddate.com, they do have a lot of information about the eclipse. So the next solar, total solar eclipse is April 8th coming up very soon. We have a number of partial lunar eclipses. We had that partial penumbral eclipse yesterday evening here from Guam if you're looking out over the horizon. But there is an annular solar eclipse coming up in October of this year that's going to be visible across Central and South Pacific into uh, Argentina of South America. Then there's going to be another total lunar eclipse March of 2025 and then another solar eclipse in March of 2025. Usually these eclipses are usually paired, they come in pairs, the solar and the lunar eclipse.